In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to make a Mahara journal and how to make posts. First, you need to log into Canvas. Open a unit that requires a journal as an assessment. Navigate to the left sidebar and select ePortfolio. ePortfolio is a Mahara journal. Up in the top right, click on these three lines, which is the menu button. Select Create and select Journals. Here is where you can see multiple journals that you have created. To create a new journal, select Create Journal on the right. Name your journal. Check if your assessment requires your journal to be named something specific. A good general rule, if there are no requirements, is to title your journal with your student number, unit name and unit code. You may have journals for different units, so it's important to name them something useful. You can give it a description if you want. Scroll down to the bottom and click Create Journal. You've now created a journal. However, you can't share your journal yet, so your teacher can't see it yet. To do that, you need to create a page. Go to the menu, Create, Pages and Collections. On the right, select Add to create a new page. Select Page. You can give the page the same name as your journal. You can add a description if you like, and then hit Save. You've now created a blank page. To add your journal to it, select the plus button on the right and hit Add. A sidebar will appear. Under Content Type, select Show More and select Journal. There will be the option to choose a journal you have created. Select the journal you created and name it if you did not already do so under Block Title. Under Entries per Page, select 100. If you leave the entry number at 5, your journal will have multiple pages and this can cause navigation issues for teachers, so always make sure the entries is 100. Then hit Save. Your journal is now linked to the page that can be shared. To share the page or journal, select the unlocked padlock on the right. There are two ways to share a journal. You can share it directly with a user by choosing Share With. Go down to Shared With and in the drop-down box, select User. Then you can search for whichever user you like. However, during grading, multiple users may need to see the journal. It's easier and more common to share a link to your journal called a secret URL. Select New Secret URL. A URL will be generated and you can copy and paste this link into Canvas for your submission. One suggestion is to submit your secret URL well before the due date and continue to update your journal up until the submission date. Now let's discuss creating posts. Very important note, always create your posts in the order they are requested, even if you post nothing in the body of text. Editing posts later is easy, rearranging their order is not. Your teachers may also be keeping an eye on the timestamps to ensure you complete the tasks in a timely manner. To create a new entry, navigate to your journal in the menu or create it in the page. Select new entry to add a new post. Always give your post a title that matches your journal task. If the post only requests text, add text to the entry field. Check your spelling, cite your sources and always ensure you use the correct version of APA referencing. Then select Save Entry at the bottom. You can also add images and GIFs to your post. To do so, you can copy Ctrl-C, Images and paste Ctrl-V them into your post. Or you can upload them via the Image button. If it's an online image, you can paste the image URL into the window that appears. If you want to manually adjust the size of the image, you can do so in the Image Formatting Options drop-down. You can also adjust the size of the image by selecting the image and dragging the corners. Ensure you add appropriate figure referencing and a list of figures for images. You can add videos to posts by copying the URL into the Entry section. However, to view the video, you will be redirected to an external site. It's possible to view the videos right here in the journal by embedding them in the post. To do this, you'll need to copy a small bit of code from the chosen website. In YouTube, select the Share button, Embed, copy all the code on the right. If you're in Vimeo, select the Share Paper Airplane button that appears over the video, copy all the code under Embed. Back in your post, select the left arrow next to Paragraph and the menu buttons will expand. Select the Embed button to access the source code. Paste the embed code here. If you want the video to be bigger or smaller, you can adjust the width and height here. Then select Save. 
Your video will now appear in the post and be playable within the journal. Finally, let's say you want to add an attachment to a post. You can add attachments to posts by scrolling down in your new entry and selecting add a file. Agree to the terms allowing you to use and upload the document. Choose the files that you wish to attach. Then select the tick mark for the files you wish to upload. Quit out of the window and save the entry. You now have documents attached to your post. When you have completed your journal, ensure you check the layout of the journal on the Mahara page. So menu, create, pages and collections, select the right Mahara page. The default layout is squished to the left and you can't view the posts easily. Select the pencil button to the right to change this. Scroll to the bottom until you see a diagonal arrow. Drag this arrow to make the posts fill the page. The journal is now correctly laid out on the page and is ready for submission. Copy your secret URL. Go into Canvas and navigate to the assessment you wish to submit. Submit the secret URL. Do not edit posts after you have submitted the final version as edits can be monitored via the timestamps. That's it for Mohara Journals. Thanks for watching!